Okay, this is day 134, and we're going to get taken back to the trailhead at, uh, what is it, Kelly Stand Road, yeah. where we got picked up last night. And you can see we're going to start the day with a nice long climb, lucky us. That looks like a three-miler to me. Uh, but that'll be the only climb of the day. Stratton Mountain. And to Stratton Mountain, and then we'll whoop, bring this over where it belongs, and then we'll drop back down and come across and at the very least hit William B. Douglas shelter at 1650.1 and that'll make a complete day for us and then the next day a shorty into our resupply. This is what they call the tiny room at this hostel and it is tiny. You have a 5 foot 11 bed which we fit in. Grab my tea. You got a chair and the door problem is the bathroom's on the other side of that wall with that hat and it was just flushing all night long. It's a loud door too. So I'll go out in the other room if nobody's out there. I'll show you the place. It's a pretty decent place. It's the kitchen. Pete's cooking breakfast because they have farm fresh eggs for you. They have, uh, this is a really nice setup. Shower over here, washer dryer in here, and around the corner is where they expect you to keep your packs and your shoes and everything. There's a, a mud room. Again, it's Wicket Wayside. Nobody's in here. This is the living room, nice big area. And you go upstairs for more private rooms, bunk room. Now there's a perfect porcupine home. And he's got a little deck to come out on, get some fresh air. Well, we're one and a half miles up Mount Stratton, which is, I believe, a four mile climb. Yep, and we're getting more and more of this on our trail today and you have no idea even if it's a quarter of a mile a tenth of a mile it is such a relief you know we're still walking through the mud but it's wonderful to get a short break like this is probably more mud coming up here but just to get that 50 feet in between is well worth it three miles up Mount Stratton. One more mile to go. It is really nice in here. Pine trees. Ferns. Mud. Rocks. Water. What else could you ask for? Look at that. And we're in the mist. This is uh, Stratton Mountain. So we're at the top. Look at that. I think I'm going to drop the pack and maybe go up there and eat my snack. Let's see what they... There's not much of a view. It's all fog. Maximum four people on the tower at once. Stratton Mountain. Cradle of the Appalachian and Long Trails. Elevation 3,936 feet. It is the highest mountain in southern Vermont. Its physical prominence and commanding views made it significant to Vermont's original Abenaki and neighbors. Well, we don't have much of a view. Check this out. We're level with the tips of the evergreens. Why are we level with the tips of the evergreens? Because we just climbed up those stairs. And we're going to go up some more. Okay, I'm getting a little scared now. I think I might uh, stop at this one. I don't know, Peter, man. I'm. You can, and you will. You see how bossy he is? That lake, lake out there. How smoky mountains are. Okay, we're up. I'm a little nervous. Pete's not. 
and I want to go back down. We but can't have our it. snack. You did what you said you couldn't do. I did. Too bad it's so cloudy. Yeah, it's a shame. It's okay. So I forgot to mention, which Pete reminded me, Benton McKay was inspired to create the Appalachian Trail at this location. Was the fire tower here then, Pete? I don't think so. Okay, we're going to eat our snack. We didn't eat up there. Yeah. Okay. We are entering Lybrook Wilderness, Green Mountain National Forest. We do not know anything about the Lybrook Wilderness. Okay, so pretty much what the sign said is, this is a primitive wilderness that we're going into. Very few bridges, which tells us we're going to be walking across the water, and muck will probably be everywhere. As soon as we leave the sign, we stepped in a bunch of muck. How do you feel about that, Pete? Well. <laughs> so Pete's saying even this isn't quite as bad as yesterday. But, you know, it's a repeat all over again. It's the mud. You come out for ten steps. You go back in, it's just, it's wearing on me. My legs are struggling with this. This is just too much, too much mud. It doesn't stop. Pete says I'm, I'm probably Debbie Downer and I got positive Polly in back of me. So we found one of their bridges and a big river. So, I'm taking a break with that big river in back of me, sitting on my pad. Pete didn't want to sit in here in his chair, so I don't know, he's somewhere over there sitting on the bridge or something. Just need to catch my breath from the mud, walk away from it for about 20 minutes and go back at it. Okay, there's Douglas Shelter, 0.5 miles. We decided we're skipping it. We're going to go 3.5 more miles to the next shelter. Hold on. What mountain is that? Mount Equinox. The Catholics own that mountain. Really? The Roman Catholic Church owns that mountain. The one in the middle out there? That one big one right there. There's actually a... Hear that? The Catholics own that mountain. That, there's actually a chapel at the very top. No way. Yeah. Do you hear that, Pete? Did you not? I heard that. You can look it up. No time for that. we got to get to the shelter. we got to get a bunk. And there's a... There's a monastery on the other side, and there's a monastery that you can't say, you can't speak. Okay. No words. All right. They, they pray. You pray. But no talking. Nope. Yeah, I do real well in yes. there, wouldn't I, Pete? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so much. And that's so much. There's okay. only like 12 that can do it. <laughs> so where are we now? That's Manchester City. That's Manchester Center. Oh, that's Manchester down there. Because we're trying to get to the Bromley Lodge tomorrow. Oh, okay. So you're not too far. Okay, here we are. Spruce Peak Shelter. Tenth of a mile. And we're done. Lisa's got a, a new pet. I do. I moved up from the newts. Yeah. I've got a uh, butterfly this now. One, this one just crawled right on her finger. Landed on her bag. She put her finger there. Crawled right on her finger. Well, the lady that runs the shelter Probably was Probably injecting us. some poison into him. No, they told us that they need um, salt. Yeah. yeah. Look at the you. Electrolytes. You can have all the salt you want on my body. <laughs> it has red on the underside. It's really pretty. So we're at Spruce Peak Shelter. This door is kind of cool. Slides. We're going to keep it open, though, because it's kind of stuffy in there. So we're going to set up right there on the bottom bunk. There's a top bunk. There's the stove they were talking about. Windows. Another bunk on the other side. Has a table inside. Really stuffy, like a mildew smell. And there's the people hanging their ursacs for the mice. And then there's a table out there. I don't want to film anybody. And a nice deck. I'm just hoping there's no mice. All right, I got the Einstein hairdo going on tonight. <laughs> So it was another rough day. All right, beginning of the Started day was good. great. Yeah, nice, climb. excellent. Yeah, nice climb up. It was dry, relatively dry, and, uh, and then it went to hell. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then the last half of the day, back to the mud, mud. Yeah, yep. the sinking up to but your shins. Even with mud. all that, 
my hero yeah. added three miles to our day. We did. And we made the second shelter, so tomorrow we'll be a real Nero in the town for our resupply. So yeah, if we can get a ride. We're going to be doing this tomorrow. Probably. Because our shutter, shel shutter, what the hell? Shut <laughs> our, what is it called? Our shuttle driver sent a text and said his car's in the shop, or going in the shop July 6th, so we got to find a ride. But more, more monkey ver Vermont mud, and, uh, and it's raining again tonight. It rained for like two hours today. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, and I we'll sheltered the it's all right. shelter that we're in. We don't mind the background noise. People are trying to be quiet. Yeah, don't be quiet. <laughs> But uh, Larry got new shoes today. Larry got new shoes. Yeah. They hitchhiked today. <laughs> Karen and Larry. A, a couple, so maybe there's hope. They're not us. a couple, but they well, are a couple pair. when they're hitchhiking. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's end this before we. Okay. Step on. Good night, Pete. <laughs>